Hello everyone, welcome back to Victoria 3. In today's video, I'm going to be playing as Japan and I'm going to be trying to reunite the World War II borders of Japan. Alright, before we get into the video, however, I just wanted to let you all know that 86% of my viewers are currently not subscribed to the channel. So anyway, feel free to subscribe if you'd like and let's get on to the video. First plan of attack is definitely going to be trying to figure out how to build up effectively. We're going to start a little bit behind on technologies, so we're going to need to make up for that pretty quickly. Let's see, I probably want to go through and do production first, and then do military afterwards. Try and get our literacy rate up, because that is pathetic. So let's see what the government's looking like. So we got a very powerful landowner class, and okay, we could do state religion. We could go colonial. That could do us some good, potentially. Professional army, though, is going to be something I'd really like to get. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of reducing the power of the landowners. So I think the easiest way to do that, let's take a look at our military. You're petite bourgeoisie, you are a landowner, and you are also a landowner. Can I recruit a general of not the landowner class? I can, but that leaves me with the Buddhist monks. Hmm, I can't do corn laws to get a better leader because because we have isolationism. I'd like to get away from isolationism, if at all possible. Probably switch to mercantilism. I see, this is gonna be an interesting one. Let's see what my market's looking like at the beginning. Okay, so we got, I see no coal and I see no iron. Is that something I actually have access to? We got coal and we got iron, okay, so that's good. We'll queue up one of those and I will queue up iron mines as well, yes. We'll queue up one of each of those. My declared interest looks like I'm stuck with one declared interest, so that's a little bit sad. It may start off in Indonesia, may go to war with Spain once I get a better military. My military right now is awful, so this is going to be a struggle. Going to need tools as well. Man, this is, this is going to be a little bit rough. Let's see here. We have a buttload of authority, which means that we can go for... Let's go with a high tax and just try and get a bunch of construction sectors. All right, 27,000, we have a nice little surplus. I think I'm gonna run with some decrees. Road maintenance is going to be a big one because I want more construction efficiency. I wanna get built up big economy very, very quickly. And then, let's see, we're probably gonna wanna encourage resource industry. So we'll take encourage resource manufacturing off of this one, put it down here so we can get more coal, and then we'll do one big one for manufacturing industry and then everything else can be promote social mobility that'll work we'll run that as the decrees we need as much construction as we can get early on all right that may be enough for right now all right so we got cotton plantation going how much arable land do we have we have a buttload of arable land that's going to be problematic because of all of these subsistence farms and eh, maybe it won't be actually that bad all right what do we need? We need tools. Yes, I am aware that we're going to need tools. I've got one queued. It's just going to take a second to get to. All right, Britain's already going to town against Great Ching. That's fine for the moment. All right, our government's uh, not as good as it could be. Let's swap over to 100 so I can get more loyalists. Loyalists are going to be very nice in this run. Okay, once we hit tooling workshops, we may be able to go into steel. So we'll also do that, but I don't think I can produce tools through steel yet yeah it's a little bit sad we'll increase our demand for tools artificially so that they'll be more productive did i get my arms industry built yet we'll we'll go ahead and switch over to cannons and then check because i think i built that yep go with that hopefully that gives me enough cannons maybe maybe not Ooh, enact land voting that would actually be really good for me. Let's try and get that passed if we can. The landowners aren't going to go against it, but it is going to take power away from them if I can get it passed. So this could be an actually really good thing. All right, so we got six cannons right now. We're going to need way more than that, but that is not too bad for the moment. All right, GDP is going up right now. We need to shift over to a more industrialized economy. Okay, arms, industries, we still need more. I think our problem is we are short on iron. Let me queue up another one of those. Ooh, Shogun accepts. Yeah, let's get that 32%. This will be nice if we can get this passed. 
Still down 50% on all this. I wonder, it may be worthwhile to subsidize, but I cannot. So we just need iron to be cheaper. We'll go ahead and queue another one of those. Landed voting. All right. Aha, this is actually good. That's going to give the rural folk way more power and the intelligentsia more power, and it's going to strip a lot of power away from the shogunate. This is good. This is good. We're going to be able to flip our economy. Or not our economy. We're going to be able to flip our government very soon. So we got those productions done. I'd like to get intensive agriculture to get my agriculture through. And railways is also very important to get done. Okay. Okay. Corrections going. We don't have enough cannons yet, but we're getting there. Um, They have more power now. They don't have enough yet. Is it possible to strip power away from them? We do have serfdom. Really, it's uh, isolationism that we need to get away from. So the industrialists are the ones that I really need to help boost. Which, only way to really do that is to just give them more money so that they can do more stuff. Wealth voting, they're against that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cannon deficit is fixed. Let's see here. Do we got our full numbers yet? going back down and we got 20 offense okay not bad not bad now if only we could find someone who's also like really weak that we could beat up do we have any ships we have no boats we're gonna have to get some boats in the future okay so i'd have to make a play down here conquer state 7.5 infamy i'm gonna go ahead and try it that'll give me a foothold in indonesia now the netherlands is supporting them I know I only have three boats, but we're going to try and make a naval invasion with this 40. Maybe I get lucky and they do just enough to break them. All right, so six boats total, seven boats I just need to fill up. Not too worried about that. Yeah, that did not go well. Let's just do it again until it eventually works. We can just bleed them dry because I doubt they have nearly as much manpower as I do. Ooh, only one offense. Okay, maybe it's not worth it until later. Military army... We'll recruit one dude with a 20. All right, third attack. Let's try it. All right, six on four. It's still just one. I'm not getting any type of buff whatsoever. It's very, very sad. Six might be enough. I know this is super ineffective, but it's really the only plan I've got until I get more boats. Naval invasion attempt number something. But well, we have some numbers. Still not nearly enough. Naval invasions. Oh, these only have like 100 people in them. That's probably why this is failing. I also, I'm not producing any boats to actually man these, so that's also probably another reason this isn't working. I'm getting pranked, and we don't have enough guns again. Everything's going wrong. Military, Navy, do we have two separate? Uh, nope, they're all still the same. All right, let's see how built up you guys are. Now, I've got nine total boats, but it takes so long to get people into the Navy. We'll let the war sit here for a second, because I don't think I'm going to dip into the negatives. No, nah, I'm not. So we can keep this war going up until I get what I need to win. Mm, it's getting better. It's still not where it needs to be. I'm at least doing some casualties now. So if I just keep doing it, I may eventually get lucky. Because my, my navy's not losing any troops. At least I don't believe so. Yeah, they're still gaining infinitely. So eventually, I'll get what I need, right? See, now he's only got 2,000. We've got troops to spare. They don't. Go! Launch the invasion again! because they haven't learned my lesson yet. Oh, let's go, we're gonna win finally, yippee! But now we actually do have a substantial victory and we can win this battle. See, if at first you don't succeed, bash your head against the wall until it works. Okay, cool, first conquest was a success, uh, by some definitions anyway. I wanna take the rest of this island over completely, so we have a foothold, we can probably go and just conquer other states in here. 5.7. I doubt anyone's gonna get involved in this war and help them. If, even if they do, we're not awful. Oh, is this impassable? I bumbled that. Oops, my bad. You know what? Fine, I'll back down and pay you my taxes because I'm stupid and I didn't look to see if I actually had a land connection. All right, these guys I do though. All right, let's conquer this state instead because I'm a dingus. Stupid, dumb, dingus man who made stupid, dumb, dingus decision. What, I don't have a border here either. I can very clearly see a line here that, that cuts off where it's inaccessible. All right, we'll just naval invade again because now we got boats, bro. We got a bunch of boats. And they only have two, whereas these guys had three. So we're gonna win. Big victories. 
all around. Okay, what else can we build? A food industry, that'd be helpful. Manufacturing paper, textile mills, or a universal. Let's do a textile mill here. Going to accept, and let's go. All right, so we've taken part of Malaysia now. What about this little state here? Bulungan, and this one, and Brunei. We can take all of this. Now, there are quite a few resources down here, which is actually super nice for us. It's just gonna take a while to incorporate the state. Ma Guindanao. That's a funny name. Let's see, I don't really want to fight the Dutch yet, but I do want to keep expanding. Lanfang is a tributary of China, so I don't want to go to war with them. I could try and take Cambodia. Conquer State, could I take Cambodia? For 16 infamy, I would go to war with Dainam as well, who are actually kind of powerful, so maybe not them yet. Let's get a foothold in Southeast Asia. So, take one of these states. Aircratic struggles. Oof. Yeah, that basically kills that law. Um, let's try and... Let's see, we still can't do mercantilism, so that sucks. Could we get wealth voting? They kind of hate this, but this would be really good for us. Hmm, let's, let's try for wealth voting. Even though they don't support it, we may get lucky. And if we can get lucky, that'll be a massive benefit. Our navy is actually not too bad now. We got nine boats. That's enough to at least launch naval invasions all around Southeast Asia. Gotta get some university so I can get to researching stuff faster, because right now it's taking a little long. Let's see what my infamy is chilling at. It's 2.4. That's nothing. We can keep making small little attacks. We'll go here next. Send these 30 over. They can deal with it themselves. No one's going to get involved in that war. I'm going to build a university. We need to get to uh, researching stuff faster. It's taking way too long right now. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, that one's shot dead in the water. Can't do census efforts. They'd be way too mad about that. How about... Let's see, you can't change from monarchy. They'd be furious. You know, I'd like to go professional army because peasant levies gives them support. They're not going to be too mad about it. And this is one that actually has a decent success chance of passing. Opium addiction. Damn. Sucks to suck. Okay, we're gonna do a bunch of minor expansions down here until we're strong enough to do major expansions. Another conquer state, gonna go right here. These guys are a little bit more powerful though, but not powerful enough. These guys are still an insignificant state, right? Unrecognized power, so they're not insignificant, so they do have the, the chance of getting someone to join them, but I think we're still okay. Okay, cool. Let's incorporate this state, 33 works for me. Where can we expand into next? I'm thinking Siak or Ake? I don't I don't know how to say any of those. Ooh, Great Britain sided with them over open the Japanese market. I'm I'm okay with that actually. So what is all this? Is this a treaty port? Singapore. Add war goal. Uh take treaty port in Malaya. Honestly, maybe. We'll try it. We might get lucky. Maybe they don't actually put any troops on the border. You know, I probably could have asked for recognition in that as well if I took this state and then got what I wanted. We're gonna need to find a way to decrease their power. And professional army. Landowners are holding onto their power with an iron grip. All right, well, that one's dead in the water now, so let's try something else. Eventually, we'll get lucky with one of these and then that'll start everything we need. Great Britain's trying to invade me. Those dicks. I don't think so. Wait, actually, I can use this. Okay, so what if I do this? Can we trade? I'd like to trade. I'm actually fine if they open my market because that puts me on free trade, which is that the one that I was needing to get off of? It takes me off isolationism, which is really good. Oh yeah, it is. So yeah, that'll help me get, uh, I think that's actually really helpful. All right, if they tick down into zero, they may be willing to give me what I want because I actually want my market to be opened weirdly enough. We have free trade. Let's go. This means I think we can do corn laws now. Forced market opening. How long does forced market opening last? Oh, 60 months. Okay, so that's fine. I lost some prestige, but I don't care. Oh, they lose. Ooh, forced to open itself. Clan the Shogunate have consequently been greatly undermined. Wait, really? I didn't know that. I, I don't know. They still look pretty powerful to me. Ah, eh, they lost some. They're at 40. 
not that's not substantial but if we could pass a law that like gets rid of their stuff it'd be nice let's try and get the dedicated police force what is my infamy at we're 18.6 are there any other small states i could just take what about make vassal can i make i could make sayama vassal but that'd be a lot of infamy for it we'll wait just a second so i don't become infamous from doing anything i'm still not powerful enough where i can beat anybody off okay so they're unhappy about free trade being forced on us but i'm fine with it that means eventually they'll support uh protectionism or mercantilism which i believe is what we need for corn laws let me take a look real quick no wait corn laws are gone i don't have corn laws huh interesting oh well i'm fine with it for now i'm gonna go ahead and conquer this state up here 9.7 infamy we're gonna be infamous but it's gonna be okay because again this is an unrecognized power so no one's gonna get involved in this war at least probably not slowly conquering indonesia it's not flashy but it's effective naval invade with six and dual naval invasions we'll use the strat the strategy against them they'll get strategized on up oh, and we got a an uncontested landing let's go that strat is so busted all right so that's them done too and i can incorporate that state as well how's all this stuff going taxation capacity is low we'll build two government admin buildings we'll queue them up at least we'll need motor industry soon but not yet oh we've got line infantry now i didn't even realize yeah let's get that changed over that'll help us quite a bit i bet we don't have enough guns do we nope of course not. The Netherlands is a minor power. I wonder if I could take advantage of that. I'd like to take Hosen from the Qing. The, what, what are the Qing running as far as military is concerned? They're still running really sucky troops. What is their army power projection? 413. What's mine? 493. So I have a stronger military than they do, but I don't know how if that's going to be enough to beat them because they are still kind of scary. So I need to take the Philippines and I need to take Manchuria. That's going to be a big issue. Transfer Cambodia would only be 6.6. Hmm, it'd be against Dainam. This would be against Siam. Only 4.3 infamy. That's actually not a lot. Yeah, let's try that. All right, transfer subject Luang Prabang against Siam for 4.3 infamy. And I will remain not infamous. Very good. We'll send you to be a defensive strategist and then we'll naval invade them in the middle. That should win me the war. They're fearful. I wonder if I could also grab the other subject as well. You know what? Sure, I want to border with Dainam. I'd kind of like to make... Siam a puppet, but that would be a lot of infamy. Oh, we got dedicated police force. Let's go. I didn't even realize. Great Britain is still on my side. Liberate country. Debating on what the best course of action is here. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go for the make vassal play. It's risky, but what's the worst that could happen? We'll see what happens when they try to attack me. And I'm also gonna launch naval invasions into them from below while that fighting goes on attack me idiot see what happens oh yeah you're gonna get torched clap them destroy them siam will be japanese you could just vassalize siam because yeah their subject will transfer regardless right is that how this works yeah it does so i just automatically get that let's go all right we are notorious so it is time to chill we do not want to be a pariah this week just keep building up all right, what is my biggest expense right now? Ah, uh, we should be fine. We got a we got a good surplus, so we're just gonna keep building up right now, fixing market stuff. Uh, we're gonna need a motor industry soon. I believe railways are almost done. I'll go ahead and queue Napoleonic Warfare afterwards, and then I'm not sure what I want to do, but I'm already liking these borders that we got going on. All right, so we got that now, so we can deal with railway issues. That'll be very very fine they're negative two right now let me let me fire a few military generals some small dudes okay so they've still got quite a bit boosting them can we get rid of hereditary bureaucrats we'll try this one eventually we'll get lucky again it's gotta happen at some point gotta become recognized at some point shoguns will be done oh let's go come on give me the appointed bureaucrats Let's put an end to landowner rule. I'd like to get colonization, but it'll be a second before I can do that. 
I can uh, colonize Papua. Standard of living is a little bit low right now, so I might need to go into more food related stuff. And the splitters killed it. Damn it. It's so hard to get the one I want. Okay. What about serfdom? Can we abolish serfdom? Uh, well, maybe actually. They aren't. They don't hate that idea. Well, they do hate the idea, but not enough to where they're not gonna support the government if it happens. All right, still notorious. We're about to be infamous. Man, it's gonna take so long for infamy to die down. Come on, abolish serfdom, please. Gotta figure out what I want to do next as part of the uh, attempt to take over stuff. I really like to take all the Netherlands stuff from them. Oh yes, we got serfdom abolished. Oh, let's go. It's stripping so much power from them. All right, we just need a little bit more though. We'll give them some time to like us again. Looks like we need more tools and more. Yeah, we're gonna need more coal. Gonna need more coal, gonna need more tools. Aha, it fixed our tool deficit. Let's go, we got steel tools now. We're doing good, we're doing good. Solid Japanese strategy and the standard of living just escalated. We're doing solid. All right, let's see. What do we want to do next? Uh, what is our infamy? We're still infamous 33.2. I'd still like to stay reputable for the most part. I know it's a little bit hard to, but we'll be okay. Okay, how are you guys doing? Shogunate, okay, you're still unhappy, but you're not furious. So, can we... Nope, nope. Let's move on to professional army yep 38% chance this should pass and once we hit this that should reduce the landowners to a normal party I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before I go on another conquering spree I'd really like to puppet the Netherlands but I bet they came to major power status again yeah they're one away so I, it's not worth it yeah 50 infamy too many people would get involved. What about transfer subject? Have a dominion type subject due to being an unrecognized country. So what if forced recognition against Russia? Hmm, that could work. That could work. Or the US, or Great Britain for that matter. I think it'd probably be easiest against Great Britain because we can just take one of their islands over here. I don't think they would invade us, but we do have a decent military now, so we could defend ourselves. All right, 27, we're almost back down. I would really like to make a recognition play and then transfer the Dutch East Indies to me, but it might be better to just puppet the Netherlands all together in one big play. What, do the, what are the Netherlands running, though, for their military? They're running skirmisher infantry, so they're going to be kind of difficult to take down without the help of somebody else. Let's conquer this state right here for five infamy. All right, professional army, come on, pass. Nope, not this time, bureaucratic. Damn! Stupid legal system. Eh! I hate that. That is the worst one to get. What about transfer subject of Spanish Philippines to me? No, it's because I'm not a recognized power. Damn, that sucks. So who are all the major powers? I think it's going to be best to do it against Great Britain. Yeah, I think that should be our next plays to get recognition. So, diplomatic plays, forced recognition on Great Britain. Now, if I remember correctly, I only need to take part of their state for myself. So I, um, they'll, they'll guard here just fine. I don't think any of this is actual uh, British territory. And professional armies dead in the water again. I hate you guys. Now let's go ahead and just grab colonization so we can get started on that. Damn, the, it'll radicalize the rural folk. That sucks. That really sucks. Let's see, what else could we pass? Oh, they're only at 29%. That's pretty good. Point to bureaucrats. Eh, we'll try it again. We'll just play tennis with laws until we can get them all passed. So my plan, I'm gonna try and do a naval invasion here. I remember this used to work. I don't know if it's gonna work this time or not, but this is more of a free-flowing video. So you're gonna get to see all of my dunders and missteps when I do them wrong. All right, so Sayam's fighting there. These guys will do defensives here. They won't win, but they'll prevent it from all falling apart. All right, I took that, so it says I have 100% of my war goal, so I'm guessing they'll drop into the negatives. It'd be really nice if they did. I need to make sure I don't get accidentally invaded. Oh, let's go, 27% chance. That might be enough to get it. Four in secession, why? 
Why are you all so radical? Whoa, what do you mean minus a hundred? Why? It's because you took all this down here. Open the Siamese market. But you don't have it. It says you have 0% of your war goal. Why is that how that works? Would you offer a trade by chance? I really wish I knew how this system worked. It says they have 0% of the war goal, but I'm still going into negative. So I'm guessing if they hold any of my territory, I lose. I mean, you can have open Siamese market. I just want recognition. Man, Vicky 3 has got to make this more clear. Okay, whatever. I don't exactly know how that works. Uh, okay, let's see what I want to do next. I guess I'll do that, and this will sit as it is. And a point of bureaucrats died again. God, I hate the landowners. I would kill you if I had the chance. So, I guess it's back to trying to pass the professional army. All right, are you done seceding yet? That's what I thought. We have a problem in that I can't get recognition because I don't understand how it works. We need to take the Netherlands and we need to take Dynam. So, can I make puppet? No, make vassal Dynam. Is Cambodia not? I thought they were subject, they're a tributary of Dynam, so yeah. If I make Vassal Dynam for 45 infamy, then I will gain basically all of Southeast Asia. Oh, has Britain's embargoing me? Britain, are you scared of me? Britain, are you scared of Japan? Are you a little cringe lord who's scared of me? Yeah, you are. You're terrified of me. Okay, well, let's hope that we can launch an attack before Britain gets here. And never mind, they're already here. Of course they are. Here with their big ass navy. Oh, well, we're at least taking Cambodia, so we may actually have some stuff to do. Oh god, we're losing. Britain's got better technology than we do, and there's nothing we can do about it. Britain, ain't you have anything better to do? Like, for real. What, what was Britain even wanting this? Nothing. They don't want anything. So, if I just defend long enough, it means we'll win, right? Yeah. We'll just pretend that's how this is gonna work. Let's launch a naval invasion up here. See if we can bypass it. I know Britain's at war with us, but we'll be fine. We'll be okay. We're gonna have to build up a bigger navy. Britain is just a pain in the asshole. Haha, -ha, I snuck around you, idiot, moron boy. Loser nuts, you got pranked from behind and Britain's gonna try and stop me, but there's nothing they can do about it because they suck. Get moroned, Britain. Eat my ass, British people. Dynam is mine. Cambodia is mine. It's all mine. Sumatron secession, of course. Why not? All right, well, we got control over all of Southeast Asia, so that's check number one. We need to take the Philippines, the rest of Indonesia, and at least Manchuria. That will be a successful goal for me. So we have professional army now. What is... Okay, so they're at 27%. Field Marshal dude. Oh, I can fire some of the generals now that are military dudes. I'll lose seven, but it's worth it. All right, so now they're at 24. They're at zero now, so I can afford to do that again. It's five, so now they're mad, but they've lost a lot of their influence now. See, so is there anything else I could do? We have dedicated police force. Oh, what, what's still buffing them? Let's see. Hereditary bureaucrats. So we need to get away from that. And that should be the last big buff that they have. Okay, so assets. Uh, it might be time to build another construction sector, I believe. Okay, what is the next plan? Can I fight China yet? They're running about the same as I am, which is not what I wanted to see. I think it's time to go hard into the economy. What do we need? What do we do? What can we change to? We'll do this one. Harvesting tools. Yes, please. Iron mines. Definitely going to move to that. Sulfur. Uh, that we, we, If we have sulfur, that means we can go with, what is it? Chemical plants. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's do chemical plants. Okay. So I need to become recognized, but it doesn't need to be from rush or britain force recognition we could try against russia and land in alaska i don't think anybody's gonna get involved i'd be shocked if they did okay here's what i'm thinking we launch a naval invasion into here they don't have any troops there they don't send any troops there we just hold on to it long enough to get what we need and then we win i don't think they have like any troops here whatsoever in this area what about my naval invasions oh they landed let's go i guess just push as far as you guys want this is working out great i should have done this in the first place 
And they're gonna lose a bunch more people, and they're gonna keep dipping faster. It's the Russo-Japanese War. It was only, uh, 40 years early. Or something like that. Recognize me! We are a peaceful nation. Yes, 100%. Very peaceful. Alright, can we try and pass point of bureaucrats now? We can. Let's do it again. Maybe we'll get lucky this time. Come on, buddy! Give me what I want, and we can all be happy. Haha, we are now recognized. Let's go. Okay. So that means, let's see, what are we? We're infamous, 32. We can do transfer subject play. Relations between Spain are too high. So I guess let's uh, begin damaging relations. We got 66 to transfer Indonesia? Bro, it costs less to just puppet the Netherlands. What? Why? Transfer subject, 30 infamy. That would not be too bad. Okay, we're just under major power or great power status. So, do a little bit more stuff. Looks like this is actually what we find here. Just gotta start researching stuff faster. Oh, we got a point to bureaucrats finally. Hey, they're only 16. They're not a big stick in the mud anymore. All right, so that effectively reduces their power. Can we pass colonial affairs now without making the rural folk way too angry? Dang it. Change negative 20. Really? You hate it that much? Why? Honestly, it's probably fine, because I don't think they have that much power. I don't think they have enough power to start a revolution. We're gonna puppet the Netherlands. I'm gonna need a bigger navy to do so, I believe. Actually, what what is their navy? 27. So I am gonna need a bigger navy. We're gonna need a university as well. Get those qualifications up quickly. How is Prussia? Prussia likes us. Power projection compared to ours is zero. I need better military technology. Okay, we got colonization. Very good. Let's go ahead and start colonizing this area. Establish a colony up here as well. Get it all colonized. Proposal for a defensive pact. No thank you. They would... Okay. So if I was a great power, they might actually accept an alliance. How far off? 15. Ooh. I think they would, actually. What is their infamy? 14.79. We're gonna make a play to puppet the Netherlands. It'd be really nice if we had Prussia to help us. If we could form an alliance with them, that would be fantastic. Clear an interest in Prussia and make a trade route. We might be able to get a trade agreement with them, which would make them like us even more. Oh yeah, I need to see how much it would cost to transfer the subject of Philippines. 30. That's not too bad. We could do that. I'm gonna come up fast on that great power status. 50 away. Come on, come on, give me what I want. Please, I beg you. 497? Come on. Quit being mean to me. I want it. I want it. I want it so bad. Oh, why'd it go up to 540, game? You're teasing me. 540, great power status. Let's go. Form an alliance. Uh oh, an obligation. Yes, we have an alliance now. Make sure my infamy is not too high. Reputable. This is fine. Make Dominion. The Netherlands. For 28 infamy. Let's do it. My European brethren dogpiled those filthy Netherlanders. They will be mine. Russia, I'm starting World War I. <laughs> Let's go. I started World War I. So I actually got to figure out a proper way of winning this war. Mm, they got 81 defense, that's a lot. But I do believe my teammates will have enough to kill them. All right, how long is it gonna take you guys? 20 days, that's not too bad. As long as they don't get intercepted, we should be fine. They got intercept. oh, that's, oh wait, that's not me. I might bypass. Uh, piss. Hey, what do you mean you're winning? I have a higher defense count. I, oh, never mind. Guess I don't. Ew, you can't, you can't, you lost a naval battle recently. You can't make another naval battle. Because you're, you're bad, remember? Oh yeah, well, I'll just hire a different navy guy, huh? What are you gonna do about that? I'm getting this Netherland puppet. Whether you like it or not, game. I know you hate me on a personal level, but that's no reason to treat me this way. Aha, we did it. Victory is assured. Oh, they're still not defending. Moron. But I'm taking a lot of casualties. We're about to occupy like their entire country so we're gonna be good oh wait i need to research stuff oops haha <laughs> the netherlands is mine oh look at all of that let's go all right we gotta fix some stuff though we got some shortages <sighs> okay let's check the market 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 oh we're so reputable 
<laughs> That's funny. Make a puppet for two, make a puppet for 1.3. Yeah, might as well. And Great Britain gets involved. What are they gonna do? I'll be making a play for Australia sh soon enough. I do want to establish a colony. Can I establish a colony in here? We do not have required quinine technology. Huh. I didn't know that was a required thing. Alright, so they're just about done for... Then I'm gonna have to fight Britain because they actually have something they want. Britain, can... Why are you like this, bro? The way of the Sabarai will defend. We are not China. You cannot bully us. We are too powerful. Watashi is strong. Thank you, Great Britain, for being a dick. A dick. A dick. A dick to me. I hate you. I want you to die. Fiery death and perish and blunder away. You stupid moron that I hate so much. I hate you, Britain. You should sink into the ocean and die forever. Brexit from existence. <laughs> Okie dokie. We're just gonna sit here and wait for Britain to realize that they can't do the thing they want to do and they can sit and cry about it. We must conquer the Philippines next. So I guess to do that, it's gonna cost us 30 infamy, so that'll put us at 42, so that's still fine. And it's time to transfer the Philippines to me. Aha, they back down. Let's go. All right, the Spanish Philippines is now the Japanese Philippines. We are looking good. Okay, so what about Brunei? Brunei, Brunei, Brunei. Would you like to be a Dominion, 2.7? Or you could be a puppet for 4.1. I think I'll make them a puppet. Actually, let's see, what, what is my infamy at? 45, so we'll have to make them a Dominion to not cross into the higher tier. All right, Brunei, subjugate. Boom. Brunei is my subject. Alright, they're now mine. It's time to chill and let Infamy go down a bit, because we do still need to take Manchuria. After we take Manchuria, I think that is enough to call it, well, also South, or not South Korea, just Korea. Take them as a subject. Alright, Manchuria. Who's in Manchuria? Russia will side with us. Great Britain, Russia, and Egypt may not. Egypt? Why the hell is Egypt here? Wait, what? Why are... Huh? Why is Egypt in Manchuria, bro? What? That don't make no sense to me. Okay, so I'm still kind of infamous. And outright conquering these states is a lot of infamy apiece. So... I think I need to fight a war to liberate. So let's go with an open market war. Yeah, Prussia will be on my side. That's fine. Dynam will be on my side. Yeah, we'll have a bunch of stuff down here. And I think we add war goal of liberate country of Manchuria. And honestly, just do Mongolia as well. And then we won't make this one a primary, so they have they get something if they back down. And pay me war reps, because you're freaking rich, bro. And I want some of that money. First, we've got troops there. We're going to do naval invasion central in Beijing. All right, so these wars are going down. Ooh, they're making big offensive plays. But that's fine, because they're not going to see it coming. Boom. <laughs> Easy dub. Yeah, you got to fight me, bro. You got to punch me. Holy crap, why are you able to bring so many troops? And it doesn't even matter. I'm just going to melt you. Holy crap. Just keep on defending against the Chinese. All right, Manchuria is given up. How the hell did you guys get that? Okay, so that weakens them somewhat. Not as much as I would have liked them to, but I guess it's still something. You know, I'd kind of like to take that from Russia. I forgot to liberate Kosin, Josin, or whatever it is. Now I have blundered, and it is sad. Australia, huh? Seven battalions? Hmm. I'd like to take that. I'm gonna be honest. What would it cost to transfer subject? Only 19 infamy? Hmm. That may be our next target. We're gonna have to pause for a little bit though. Give it some time first. Per capita taxation. Holy crap. That is a lot more money. Okay, time to build more construction sectors. Okay, infamy is down under 30. Does that give us enough to transfer subject of Australia? Okay, no. They're 21.9, so I need a little bit more. 
go to war with Great Britain and Australia. The nice thing is they probably won't be able to actually do anything about it. Okay, infamous 27. How much would this play cost? 22. That is less than 50. That means it's time to rock and roll. So basically our plan is going to be to naval invade the capital region and win that way. Because I don't have any, I don't think I need to take the British capital. I think I just need to take the Australian capital. All right. Naval invasions hit the capital. So you're 20, you're 4, and you're uh, 22. I know it's above what I really should be doing, but it should be okay. As long as we can hit them and Britain doesn't bring their navy in, we'll be fine. There we go. Oh, Prussia's here too. Let's go. Blitz in. Move. Yep, I got 100% of the war score. Let's go. Conquer Australia. Alright, Britain's probably about to send in their big military, so we need to get a defensible position hit them too hard before they realize they could do anything we've already got their entire capital region conquered australia will be mine australia will be mine ha, 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 ha. australia will be mine yeah. aha look at that japanese australia ah beautiful this is my domain you were right to fear me earlier great britain all right, well, that is going to conclude playing Japan. I took over most of everything that I wanted to. I didn't really get into taking over the coast of China like I wanted to just because infamy would have been way too high for this game and it would have been a lot, a lot of waiting around. And that's not very fun to do, so I figured I'd just cut that part out because that wouldn't be very entertaining to just sit and watch me wait for 20 years while my infamy decays. However, taking over all these states, that was actually a lot of fun. I cannot believe I was actually able to get the Netherlands as my puppet. That seems very, very wrong, but I guess it's just how it is. And for some reason, Prussia is still a thing in almost 1880, so that's a little bit weird. I guess Hanover just won't join the market or something. But anyway, yeah, that's going to conclude this video. Hopefully you found that to be somewhat entertaining, somewhat informative, and somewhat... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just kind of rambling at this point because I don't know what to say. I am so tired. This this recording has taken nearly three hours to do, and my brain is mush. So, in honor of my brain being mush, I request that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can help unmush my brain with the power of subscribers and likes and comments. It's a proven fact that that will demush my brain, specifically mine, mine only. It won't mush. It won't. It won't demush anyone else's brain. I'm kind of just rambling now. It's fine, though, because rambling is sometimes funny, sometimes it's not, and I don't know right now. I guess I'll get whoever edits to figure it out if it's funny or not. Anyway, I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.